Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest rally trapping video. In today's video, we am taking a bunch of max mix attacks on my rally traps. So two of my rally traps will be in today's video, the mini titan and the mythic champ rally trap as well. Before we get into today's video, I gotta tell you about a giveaway I will be doing soon. It's gonna be a pretty cool account giveaway. Uh, over a billion mites, some good mixed gear with some good blast as well. So keep an eye out for that. That's gonna be pretty amazing. So uh, also I will be partnering with Slayer. It's a new uh, chatting app slash video app. I'll tell you more about that on the giveaway, but I might leave it in the description down below just so you guys can check it out. I will also have a group chat in there, uh, so if you guys want to join that, come join that. Anyway, so the first attack's coming in right now. It is going to be a mix attack. Uh, they did carpet it very quickly. I don't think they used 75s for that one, but at least they used a bunch of 50s because that came in very quickly. It was right next to me. Uh, they also went a ton of tier 5 here. You can see how much tier 5 they went. Uh, it was pretty much 1.8 million tier 5 they sent against me. Um, Usham actually went pure tier 5, so he lost all tier 5. Uh, he knew it was me. You can see that by his message. Uh, he said, hi, YouTube. Uh, so he finally gets to be showcased at YouTube here. But... Um, yeah, he, uh, they really wanted to walk back, I guess, for burn me. Unfortunately for them, I think they broke my wall for me, so I didn't really have to do much. Uh, again, breaking your wall against a mix attack is helping the person. It's not hurting them. So <laughs> if you are ever taking a mix attack, make sure you get someone to break your wall. I will we'll also be showcasing that later on in today's video where my wall was not broken and they actually walked back so yeah you can see hi youtube <laughs> or hi mom for youtube purposes there uh so yeah he obviously knew it was me uh they'd already hit me at this point as well so it's not the first time they had hit me um and i was actually offline and they tried to catch me off but thankfully my guild called me and i was able to get that back he has all the titles paladin siege commander general all that stuff. You can see all the hits he did before. He actually was burning a couple people as well uh, before they decided to come for me. And then, yeah, I think right up there you can see, yeah, I actually uh, burned one of their guildmates. <laughs> it was our uh, pad of mine. I don't know if I posted that video yet, but, or did I even, yeah, I might have posted that one, but yeah, that was a big hit. I hit him really hard there. Anyways, moving on to the next account. This is my other rally trap. This is my free to play mythic champ trap but by free to play i mean i haven't actually really spent on the account it's just all stuff i get from the creator event and the rest my base stats and all that is all free to play because again there's nothing spent on the account other than the gear i got from the creator event so um technically free to play but not really because i got free free stuff for it so <laughs> anyways so you'll see my gear pretty soon this guy's quite strong again kind of like a max account 180 uh Castle stars, 630 artifact stars, uh, all tempered 12 on his um, gear. So, yeah, very, very strong account. Hellboy here. I don't know what Baron Jewels and stuff this guy has, so I can't tell you how maxed he is, but he, he's pretty much a max account at this point. Um, this was before the new artifacts, so... Um, now, now he probably has like 700 plus artifact stars, but anyways, so uh, you'll see that in a couple seconds how strong he is. Uh, I think uh, he's not quite as strong as Usham. He might be though, but I don't think he's as strong as Algahid, Al Algahid, 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 Al Al like, whatever. I can never say his name. Anyways, 15 seconds left. Just getting ready. Uh, I think my wall is already broken, so I should be good. I, I usually get my guildmates to break my wall nowadays just so that these mix attacks don't walk back. Also going to be popping in a 50% boost here and going to be putting on my gear right away. It is going to be a kind of just a mix attack, so not too difficult or anything like that to take. As long as my wall is down, I'm popping the attack boost. I should be pretty good against these uh these mix attacks nowadays on this comp because i'm running like 37 million troops yeah 1.5 mil not too bad uh, it was kind of it's a 424 but it's not it's almost more mixed than 424 uh there really wasn't that much more infantry and cab there so just a little bit more tier 5 like 100k more so it's kind of like more like a 434 or something like that yeah <laughs> something similar to a 434 but again uh it was pretty easy to take there um 1.5 mil is pretty good nowadays from these max accounts i don't want to be uh 
can't be taking much less than that pretty much. So um, again, uh, he did get his leader back, but I was able to cap it pretty easily, didn't lose much. Uh, he obviously did not see my gear, but his guildmate probably did and was telling him it was pretty good. So that's probably why he wants to see it. <laughs> Because again, I had my gear on decently long there, especially since I was putting it on right as the rally walk, so... Uh, I'm gonna just send their leaders back, because again, they won't be hitting me again after that. Like, there's zero chance that after I cap their max account, they'll go again after that. Um, especially after seeing my gear. Uh, yeah, unfortunately... Yeah, I don't like putting on my gear unless it is a max account nowadays, just because, again, once they see the gear, they won't go again. Here is the gear, if you guys are wondering. It's two-piece mythic, no, almost three-piece mythic champ. I'm just working on that accessory. I will have that pretty soon. Gonna be getting some embers pretty soon, so, um, from the creator event, so that's, that's good. Um, let's see. Yeah, so, I'll, I'll be at three-piece mythic champ very soon. I do have the amount of crimson nades needed to upgrade the accessory to Mythic Champ, uh, but yeah, anyways. Fortunately, I don't have full counter on the account yet, which is crazy, I wish I did. Anyways, gonna move on to the next one. This is one of my guildmates getting rallied. I decided to video it here. It is not Usham, and I think those are 75s. Correct me if I'm wrong, but those look like 75% carpets. Uh, 50s, I don't think, zoom the, the, the march that fast. Cause that was just like two carpets and it hit. That looked pretty much, there's two jumps there and it hits, so that's pretty much 75s. 50s, you don't do that. You need more 50s to actually get there, so. Unless they're all hitting 50s at the same time or something like that, that's the other other reason. But yeah, <laughs> this is why I put my gear on before the rally walks, because if you have that coming in, you're not going to be able to counter it. You want to get your gear on. It was an infantry blast. Uh, OG Kush was in infantry wedge for this one, so. Uh, it took about 3 million. Again, their tier 5 counts are very high. 1.5 million tier 5 on that one. Um, he was lucky he did not get full countered because there's zero chance you're going to counter that rally when it's carpeting that fast. You can kind of tell it was an infantry rally though based on march speed, so there's always that. So we're moving on. This is another maxed account coming. Uh, this is my mini Titan account here. Uh, so. I did kind of mess up in this rally situation here uh, just because I didn't get somebody to break my wall. Like nowadays, any time a max count hits me, I get someone to break my wall because there's a good chance it's going to be a mix attack. Um, in this situation, I forgot to get someone to break my wall. So you, you'll, you'll see what happens in the and the, pretty much the difference between breaking the wall and not breaking the wall. It's just, it's just chances of walking back. And if you guys don't know why, uh, breaking your wall is so important against a mix attack. It's because uh, for every second your wall is up, your other troops are not attacking. The only troops that attack when your wall is up is your range. And if they go infantry formation, you're just basically losing out on a bunch of damage. So I'm gonna throw my gear on quickly and then port away right as it comes. Again, I was pretty sure it was either infantry or mix, so I just went uh, uh, infantry formation, which is probably the best. Unfortunately, as you can see, my wall is up and they ended up getting a siege walk back. And that is the danger of your wall being up. You just basically lose out on a couple rounds of attacks. And those couple of rounds of attacks are usually attacks that are you're taking out their siege. And as you can see, uh, they decided to walk back. They didn't do very much damage to me. They only did 1.2, which is not too bad for a 442, because 442 is one of the harder rallies to take, I find. 424 is pretty easy, honestly. And this guy is quite strong, 672 uh, castle or artifact stars, max castle stars, max tempered 12. So he was pretty much a maxed account at this point, but yeah. And you'll see, you'll see here my wall being up and what happens is uh, since he's uh, infantry frontline, my range is only attacking, my infantry are having moved yet. And basically, I basically just lost out on one round of attacks. That's all. And that's basically the difference between me uh, capping him and him walking back against my account. And as you can see, that's what happened. And then right after that, he decided to set on my other account. So <laughs> the uh, the Mythic Champ one, uh, the, technically it's weaker, it just has more troops. So it, it, it is technically not weaker at the same time because of that. But the base stats are obviously way worse. So I do need to put my gear on if I am taking a rally on this account, unlike my other ones. So again, uh, just gonna port to the wonder since they know I'm online, that's why they set on me. Um, unfortunately, I did have some tier five in my infirmaries from joining a rally, I'm pretty sure. 
just gonna pull out a bunch of troops because uh, again, I had some just extra troops sitting in the sanctuary from previous rallies. Gonna make sure I have as many troops as possible for this guy. I got someone to break my wall too, so my wall is down, which is good. Uh, that means I don't have to uh, worry about them walking back. I just have to worry about how much damage they're gonna do. Uh, well, I shouldn't have to worry about them walking back, but we'll see. <laughs> you never know with these max counts nowadays, they could walk back, but with my comp and my gear, they really shouldn't be walking back as my, if my wall is down on either of my counts. Like, if my wall is up, yes, there's a chance they walk back for sure. Uh, even with my war gear on, it's just because you miss out on a couple of rounds of attacks, you don't kill their siege, that's pretty much it. Anyway, it's going to be popping the attack boost for this one. 100% uh, here, putting my war gear on early just so I can check what's coming in. It is going to be a kind of heavier cav 424, which is actually one of the easier 424s to take, uh, which is good. I'm actually just letting them use a couple of carpets, but they were kind of just carpeting a little too slow, so I decided to port away. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it kind of hit me right when that happened, so I didn't really technically need to port away, but not like he was going to go again, because... <laughs> Again, it, if you see that gear and uh, you get capped, you're probably not going to go again on this person, especially when you see how much damage they did to me, which was 1.1 mil. Again, 424 heavy cav is a lot easier to take than 442, um, just based on, uh, yeah, it's just easier. So just based on formation and what formation they go and all that, I could go through all this another time, but yeah, it's just easier to take, honestly. And I uh, was able to take that pretty easily. And since my wall is down, I was able to take out the Siege. Uh, and it just doesn't hit as hard as 442. Or I guess this would be like... I don't know. 4... 425 or something. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know the, the formation, what it's called. But it's he it's heavier Cav 424 pretty much. So uh, it's pretty easy there. Anyways, uh, if you guys have any more questions about mix attacks and stuff, let me know in the comments down below. If you want me to do a whole video on mix attacks... I could do another video on that, just going through all the formations and stuff, and what formation to take what in. Um, obviously, you want to have your wall down for all mix attacks. Uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video today, and I'll see you guys in the next one.